So the Medical Simulation Training Center uh, is designed around the concept of TC3, which is uh, tactical, tactical Casualty Combat Care. Um, we train uh, CLS, which is your combat lifesaver on basic medical skills. We also train medics uh, on tables, which is a requirement they're supposed to complete yearly to stay medics. Go, go, stop the bleeding! Um, just like anything in the medical field, uh, lessons learned downrange are, are being incorporated uh, into what we're actually doing now. Um, and in fact, we're doing things that aren't even in the CLS book uh, that exactly. AMED, uh, you know, kind of keeps in contact with us about and talks about things like doing junctional bleed treatments with the combat gauze so we're staying as up to date as we can. If they're alert, you can let their hands go free, but if they're not alert, you need to secure their hands because you don't want them to just flop it around. Uh, but generally speaking, we get 40 hours of training where we take them all the way, you know, from crawl, walk, run. We, you know, have them practice each of the individual skills. Uh, and then actually Let's assess a full patient. Uh, and now later on this afternoon, for example, we're gonna be starting to add the stressors to the environment. This is what we do for a living. We train for a living. Um, it's one thing to know the information. There are plenty of very knowledgeable medics out there. It's another to be able to get into a classroom, pass that information along, uh, and put it in a format where they can actually then use that training. Raptor main, this is Raptor 1, over. That hands-on component that we, we provide up here is probably one of the most critical parts of it.